Chicago Clamp Company proudly introduces the Tube Framing Clamp System for framing roof openings and supporting loads above or below the roof line. This video is not to be used in place of the installation guide. And remember, never lift more than you can comfortably handle. Some installations may require more than one person. Restrict personnel from entering areas where installations are taking place. Always follow local and OSHA safety procedures. Before installing, always check with a structural engineer. Determine the area where the frame will be installed. Structural engineers often require installation of clamps over joist panel points. Check that the space is clear and that the area is open and free of utilities. Check that the roof deck opening is at least an inch and a quarter high and two and a half inches wide. The end clamp is adjustable for a top joist cord width of up to eight inches. You will receive the tubing and hardware kit as one shipment. To install, first measure the distance between the bar joists. Please note that the distance between the bar joists must be measured from inside edge to inside edge. Now, using the formula in our installation guide, cut the tube to size. First, attach one end clamp to a main tube. Insert the tube so that it is flush with the edge of the clamp as shown. Then secure the clamp by inserting the carriage bolts into the square slots and tighten with the lock nuts. Be sure to only use hardware supplied with the clamp system. Attach the T-bracket to the main tube. Be sure to attach it so that the bracket's wing is facing the area to be framed. Repeat this process for the required number of cross members. These brackets will need some final adjustment, but tighten with the lock nuts now so that the brackets will not slide during installation. Place a single end clamp in the roof deck opening over the bar joist. Attach the end clamp to the bar joist by tightening the heel clip. Make sure the end clamp is within one inch of the joist edge. Take the main tube with the end clamp attached and insert it into the roof deck opening opposite of the single end clamp. Then raise the other end of the tube and insert it into the single end clamp. It may be necessary to use a drift pin in the center slot of the end clamp for temporary support or minor lifting of the deck. The tubing should be flush with the edge of the end clamp. Secure with carriage bolts and lock nuts. Position the main tube so each end clamp is within one inch of the joist edge. Then tighten the heel clips. Install the second main tube using the same method. Measure the distance between the main tubes and cut the cross tubes down to size. Slide the T-brackets to the desired locations, then insert the cross tubes into the T-bracket wings. Be sure the tube is within a quarter inch of the back of each T-bracket. Secure with carriage bolts and lock nuts. Repeat for the second cross tube. Then tighten all connections. The installation is now complete. Additional cross tubes or support tubing may be added if desired. Visit our website for details.